president and I get to choose where some of our money goes that we raise in the auction. And so I said, why don't we raise money to build a house in partnership with Habitat for Humanity? I was thrilled at the opportunity to develop this and then turn that over to Linda K. Briggs, who is our president now. Being an American, you've heard about Habitat for Humanity for a long time. And certainly Rotary's been around for a long time now. Uh, it's very exciting for me to see people having lunch on a Thursday and on a Friday be pulling wheelbarrows full of rocks. That is about the top of it can be in engagement. Gil, you are by far the most popular uh, Rotary member on these beds. You know why? Because I cook food. Because you cook food. That's hard. Guess what the three requirements for home ownership are? We already talked about one of them. Sweat equity is one of them. Sweat equity is one of them. The other two? Employment, right? Income. Yeah, 30 to 80% of the area median income. So that's for a family of four in Pierce County, that's between about 25,000 and 59,000. Put in everybody who owns a habitat home. Part of what they agree to is they agree to doing um, hours working for I'm Stacy Ogle, and I'm spending yet another day here at Habitat, the house that Rotary built. Um, and the question why do I enjoy doing this? One reason is because I learn something every single time I'm here. And to the tile work that I just did. Woo -hoo. I've spent time with Rotarians that I've been in the club with for 10 years, and I get to know them at Habitat Build. So this is one of my favorite service opportunities with Rotary. And we are so excited about building this home for someone that served in our military. I grew up in Chicago, South Side, and uh, uh, DuSable High School is my alma mater, and uh, went to the Navy after graduating. And I was on the USS Enterprise, two year enlistment, and ever since I've been out of the Navy, my first goal has been to buy a house. <laughs> And your house here was sponsored by Rotary Club 8 of Tacoma. Um, they specifically wanted to be able to help a veteran. Uh, meet Lewis Perry. And Hello, Mark. Lewis, pleased both, to meet you. Both Excellent Navy meet guys. You. <laughs> both Navy guys. Brothers yeah. in arms. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand you were on aircraft carriers. Yeah, yeah, Mark. I was yeah. on the USS Enterprise. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Enterprise. Oh, yeah. Well, I was in submarines. So I, I always them. thought that the guys in the submarine were really high intelligent people. Highly intelligent people. Is that true? I hope I don't let you down. <laughs> I can't express how how, uh, how much gratitude I have for the whole Habitat for Humanity system. Hi, hi. Oh, that's great. Hi. Oh, excited? Yeah, yeah, I'm still. <laughs> All right. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here. We are so very excited. Uh, a house dedication is always the best day at Habitat. I love this city, this community. This telecom is my home now. So I just love trying to come out and help. That is good, huh? Amen. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. All right. I liked it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, he's still filming, of course. So. <laughs>
I'm out of veggie burgers though. Veggie patties. I'm a veteran. We bonded quite quite immediately. That and over the Chicago Bulls, a very important thing to do. Combination of those two people, those two organizations, they're all people, right? They are. But I gotta tell you, those are huge. Yeah. The aircraft carriers? Yeah. And I I'm just glad you didn't get lost. In that.